Hey, this is Mel. So I'm kind of excited about this. Uh, TechSmith Labs, which you'll find at uh, labs.techsmith, techsmith, smith.com. Okay, just came out with a, uh, a new uh, lab feature, I guess, an experimental feature that they're trying out right now called Screen Chomp. And basically, let me go ahead and erase this here, but basically it allows you to record um, you know, jotting notes down and so forth on your iPad. All right, so I'm recording all of this right now on an iPad. And if you go to their site at uh, the the address that I just gave you, you'll be able to see this little screenshot here. So obviously, you can also import little screenshots. And uh, let me show you that in the next video here. But basically, it allows you to be able to import some screenshots. Um, not yet uh, videos or anything like that, but you can create these videos. You also have the ability to be able to do some erase functions. Uh, either as a spot eraser or erase everything that's on your uh, that you've jotted down so far, and then you have all of these different colors and so forth with your markers. Pretty basic functionality for now, but uh, I think it's a step forward in the right direction. Eventually, I'd love it if they had something like this. It allows me to ca capture a screencast that's in, that shows entirely everything that's on my iPad uh, display. But let me show you some additional features here. Hold on. Okay, so this is basically the interface that you're going to get. I'm going to change the color of my uh, marker here for a second to make this blue. But this is the, uh, the gist of the outline, uh, the interface that you'll look at when you load it up on your iPad. This little icon up here allows you to be able to, uh, to check out some other videos that you may have already uploaded and then to open those up and view them. And you also be, have, be able to have the ability to share them as well. This is the little docking icon here that allows you to be able to then bring in images that then display here in the central part of your, your uh, whiteboard, and then you can actually mark them up and display them. Pretty much like what I'm showing you right now with this display, because what you're looking at here with all of this, this is entirely basically a screenshot image that I imported into this uh, my iPad right now, and I'm, and I'm just basically able to show it to you. So you can see where this could easily be like a graph perhaps that that you bring in and that you want to talk through, um, and uh, which would be interesting because there's uh, some of you have seen my uh, ROI discussion where I can bring in bring in a couple of graphs and so forth. Let me go ahead and erase that because I'm getting a little too complicated there. Anyway, this little icon here, uh, like you also then allows you to be able to erase everything that's on your whiteboard, so you can go you know hog wild with all of your uh, discussions here. Uh, with your ideas. Here's my little idea of a light bulb, right? There's my light bulb. And then after you're done, basically you can go on to the next thought by erasing everything there. You can also do spot erasing. So if you have just a little bit of something here that you just want to erase, you can easily certainly do that. There, I just erased a portion of it, uh, but now I'm going to use um, this to go ahead and erase everything. So everything's erased at this point. And then obviously you also then have all of these different markers that allow you to be able to uh, change the different colors. Of course, when you click each one of those, then another little display window comes up that allows you to be able to select from a palette of different other colors and so on. Um, I'm not sure, I think 12 or 16 colors or something like that is what you'll be, you're able to select. Anyhow, the other interesting thing is that as it turns out, this is obviously part three. As it turns out, <clears throat> basically you can um, create individual videos, and they're all saved as MP4 files. Okay, so these are all MP4 files, MP4. But you can save a bunch of these, uh, <coughs> and they go up to the uh, screenchomp.com website. They get stored there for a little while. Eventually, they'll probably create your own personal account. In any case, what you're then able to do is take all of those and then download them into your own little computer. Here's my little rendition of a, my computer here. But basically, you're able to take all of those in your computer and then using Camtasia, uh, either, I think you should be able to do this on the PC, but definitely I've been al already been able to try it on my Mac, my Camtasia Mac, and then you can basically daisy chain all those together and create one uh, complete video of the entire presentation, which essentially is what you're looking at here because I've basically taken all three of those uh, individual videos and uh, put transitions to them and uh, put them in and edited them further in my Camtasia uh, Mac software. Anyway, uh, I like it for the uh, the start that it has. I think there's going to be some great opportunities here to just jot some thoughts down and even enhance other screencasts and so forth. Like I said, I am looking for the opportunity uh, eventually that they uh, or they create a new um, uh, application at some point where we'll be able to record everything that's on our uh, on our iPad. 
In any case, uh, if you want to learn more, you can go to labs at uh, techsmith.com and, oops, see, now there you go. So I got a little erase function there, dot com, and check them out further. Okay, so this is Mel Aclaro. Check me out at melaclaro.com, and hope you enjoyed this, and hope you find it helpful.